So this hose here, I'm gonna remove this completely. This will cause a check engine light, but I will fix that later down the line. So this is the hose that connects to the, this is a sensor anyways, that will cause that check engine light to go off. Awesome. So part one of the deletion. And this is what I'm going to replace it with is the breather. This is what is causing oil to go into my turbo. I'm just gonna put the breather here. I don't think it's actually, it's a lot bigger than I thought. So I will see what I can do with this hose. Runs great, runs like a dream. So that's our project. That's the 1971 Volkswagen Beetle Baja that we're kind of making. So we wanted to see how it ran on the way to AutoZone. Hi, just this for you? Yeah. All right, Thank you. Thank you, have a good day. Okay, so, oh, that came off really nice. So now, after that's off, I'm just going to replace it with a filter. And it'll sit like that. I'm hoping, I don't think it'll hit the hood. Like I'm pretty sure it won't. So we'll try it and then if it gets smashed, then I guess now we know that it doesn't work. And it just sits like that. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. It looks like a mushroom. And now let's cut this hose. Um, I'm just gonna make it barely enough. The original piece I actually fit here, this clamp, is actually glued to this tubing. So I'm just going to use the other end that was not glued. So either way, got a tube out of it. Over it. Um, I didn't really take that into account. But that's the idea, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so this is my temporary fix, I guess, because, I mean, clearly it doesn't look that nice but i need some type of filter on it and this is my fix for now until i get a catch can i'll install that probably next video as i'll order it now so i don't have to wait for it so long so this is what i'm talking about there's a crap ton of oil around it and i'm just gonna clean it up while i'm actually in this part of the car anyways which is a good idea and that will hopefully make the seals a lot better. I just can't ever pop this one off on the right side. It didn't work for me last time either. Ah, dope. Let's remove the air box. And I'm hoping that my new intake or the K&N filter will just kind of like come over in the center here without this being here. So that's the idea anyways. I mean they're pretty loose. They're not super tight. So this is the Forge Motorsport blow-off valve. It is made for this but I'm pretty sure there's tons of turbos that it'll actually work for it. Uh, as long as you set up your vacuums then you're just fine. But I have all the lines in here in the box. And they literally come with all the keys and attachments that you need. So we got the blow off valve finally installed. We had the intake. It took, what, four hours? It took a long time, but we did install quite a bit of things. I do have a check engine light, like I said, that I would get a check engine light because of that one hose. I hope you guys can hear that, because it sounds really good. So I just got home and everything went pretty well, other than the fact that I know I have the check engine light, 
but I feel like that will just kind of come later down the road as I'm totally jerry-rigged that filter on there. I'm going to order a filter on Amazon or the Fiat website and then just have that ship over and actually replace that with a proper filter. I really don't like the two clamps that I have. I think that looks dumb right next to each other. So hopefully this filter fits and it works great. And other than that, I'm really excited. It's super nice. It's way fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button down below. Subscribe for more Fiat videos and upgrading this car. I'm super excited and stoked for the car season, guys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.